This is an ABC Action News tracking the traffic's update. Brought to you by The Wise Company. You can't prevent certain events in life, but you can prepare for them. I'm meteorologist Shay Ryan with an update on our uh, tropics here and what we're focusing on of course is Hurricane Michael making its way north across the Gulf of Mexico today and strengthening likely to a cat three storm before making its way inland along the panhandle of Florida midday tomorrow could be packing 120 mile per hour maximum sustained winds when making landfall near Panama City. Now, as far as our local area, the biggest concern we have is for that coastal storm surge to lead to coastal flooding. So what we're looking at tomorrow morning is high tide around 530 when the storm is almost parallel with us. And then again, tomorrow evening will reach a high tide as that storm is moving inland. But even on the backside on Thursday, we will continue to be very susceptible to that coastal flooding, especially around high tide. So in Citrus County, again, around 530 tonight, 530 tomorrow morning, and then a little after six tomorrow night, that's when we will be most susceptible to that coastal flooding. We'll continue to monitor that all the way through uh, the course of this storm. The future cast showing the heavy rain staying well out into the center of the Gulf. We will get some showers and storms that move across the area this afternoon as a result result of Michael and our just regular typical uh, east to west flow, but nothing unusual um, as far as the rainfall is concerned. Tomorrow we will get a chance for rain in the morning as well as through the afternoon and into the evening. It won't be continuous, but we will get some of those bands rolling across the area as the storm is trying to approach uh, the panhandle of Florida, which will increase our rain chances throughout the day. But again, we're not looking at high totals of rain, so we're not worried about flooding due to our rainfall amounts. It is just that coastal flooding that we're concerned about as the storm pushes that Gulf water right up against our coastline. So the impacts for Tampa Bay and to the north rough surf high risk of rip currents. We're looking at that potential for coastal flooding, especially from Pasco County on north. We will get some rain out of it, but again, I'm not worried about inland flooding as a result of heavy rain totals. And the good news is it'll help to bring our temps down a couple of degrees, so it will be more comfortable out there. As far as winds are concerned, we'll get some gusts along the coast today that are up to about 30 miles per hour. Tomorrow we could see some gusts as high as a 40 miles per hour, but again, we are still not looking at uh, any significant winds across the area. Area that will be sustained today. We're still going to be topping out with highs near 90 with just that regular round of afternoon and evening showers and storms. In 2017, the USA experienced record breaking storms. 2018 is predicted to be just as severe. If you feel at risk, you are not alone. Protect your family for up to 25 years. Call Wise Food Storage and stock up on their easy to prepare foods that have a shelf life of up to 25 years. In a crisis, don't worry about what your family will eat. Call or go online to request a sample. 1-800-880-3930. Prepare now.